it in just because it wasn't the right thing. <laughs> Hello, welcome to Straw Family Farm. I'm Christy. I'm photogenic. <laughs> okay. In the chapels. I guess we should explain that, huh? I tried to get the camera to do what I needed it to do and get the Bible verse up here so that he could read it. And I was having issues, and I ended up taking a picture of RJ and I. Correct? Yep. All right. So, and it made me giggle. I'm tired. What can I say? All right, RJ, in the chapel, what do we got today? Acts 14, 17. He, yet he has not left himself without testimony. He has shown kindness by giving you rain from heaven and crops in their seasons. He provides you with plenty of food and fills you with joy, fills your heart with joy. And why are we reading that today? Because it's rained all day long. We are thankful for the rain. But we could save a little and bring it back maybe a week or two. <laughs> mm. We're definitely thankful for it, right? It's going to make our grass grow. <laughs> give the sheep some more pasture, right? Yep. All right. Back so. up our septic. And I just messed up. It's gone again. <laughs> <laughs> We're still recording. We hope. Yeah, we are. Uh, we are. <laughs> All right, in the barn stalls. Anything good going on in the barn stalls? We haven't had any babies. We've only got what the two Morenos, and I don't. I'm starting to think that they just are not going to breed. Cause breeding season's almost over. You've been shearing some, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um. What else? Mm, got all the baby chicks. Mm mm mm. How many do we have now? Oh. I think 30. Okay, so, did you tell them about the hen that had the chicks, the five? Did she have any more under her? No. Nobody ever went back to look. Crap. Could have been more out there. No, not now. Not now? Mm -mm. Okay. So, first, I got the 10 chicks. Okay, because we had a issue with the, the chicken coop, right? Mm -hmm. None of the chickens would go back to it. Almost all the hens are either old, passed away, or whatever. I think we have, what, six roosters left? Maybe five hens? Is that right? There's more than that. There's a bunch of ducks. There's a bunch of ducks. Yeah, we got ducks. Okay, so, if you're, we're keeping count, I went and bought Sam, the goose, and 10 pullets. Pullets are females. And they're young. When they get older, they'll be called hens, right? So. And then, what, a week later, I got 15 for a buck a piece, which you can't beat that price, okay? I'm just saying. So I picked up 15 more at a buck a piece. Then. What did you find in the barn? Five more. Yep. We had a hen hatch out five more. So, now, something else also happened in there by the name of Taylor. What is Taylor? Who is Taylor? How did Taylor get here? Tell us the story. Why is Taylor? Let's start with that first. The goose was scared of the chickens, so mom got another goose to be his friend. Okay, so... Or she's friend. We don't know what they are. We don't. They're straight runs. <coughs> Which means they could be either or boys or girls. But we tried putting <coughs> Sam out in the coop several times. I tried. You tried. Because you thought I was nuts, didn't you? Mm -hmm. He thought I was just spoiling her and bringing her back in. And... If you took her out there and left her, the chickens would peck at her to bleeding, like on her feet, and pull at her. Him, her. Him, it. her, it. We're not sure what it is. Um, and just beat the fire out of him. So, RJ thought I was just spoiling Sam and bringing him back in. So, I said, okay, fine, you do it. How many minutes was it that he was out there before? Five. <laughs> you notice I didn't even finish that sentence. Yeah. Why did you bring him back in? Because they started attacking Sam. Mm -hmm. Big time. 
like baby chicks just swarmed going. him and and pecking at him and just yeah and he was twice as big as them it's not like we Three didn't wait till he was as big as them. that's true so it's not like he wasn't bigger he just i don't know they ganged up on him so mom got him so when i was over um in the town that um has them uh I stopped by to see if they maybe had another one, and they did, but does it match Sam? No, it's yellow. Mm -hmm. Sam is a gray, mm -hmm. gray and yellow. We need to get a Canadian goose. Go, go get one of them wild Canadian goose's babies. Oh, you go get them. I can't you... swim. Okay, I can't swim when I'm being flogged. Well, at least you know how to swim. I don't know how to swim. To get across to the island, you don't have to be able to swim. Well, I could drown if I don't know how to swim. You can walk it. The cows walk across all the time. But what if I trip and fall? Wah. You'll get muddy. Anyway, so they don't look alike. And we had to come up with another name that was unisex. So we have Sam, who is gray and yellow. I don't know. And then we have one that is solid yellow, which we're calling Taylor. Correct? Mm -hmm. So, and honestly, I took Taylor into the bathroom, put him with Sam. Him and Sam did this dancey dance, swirled their necks thing. Sam pinned Taylor down for a minute. I got onto him. I didn't know if it was going to work decided that I would just do it. So I picked them both up, took them out there. They bonded really fast, didn't they? Mm -hmm. Not had a problem since. The chickens don't pick on them. Right? Right. And we have chicks of all sizes, so we've got some. That red one is like this tall. She's huge compared to the others. I guess she's a production. I don't know what she is. A giant. <laughs> okay, anything else going on in the barn stalls? The horseshoer came. Right? Yep. Okay. We still don't have those mare's feet done. How come? Uh, haven't messed with them much, so we just didn't do them. They're just out on the pasture growing. Yep. So we're going to bring them up as soon as we get to Bayou and... Now, Cavalier and Star are rideable, correct? Yep. <laughs> Cavalier doesn't get in any hurry to do anything, does he? No. What happened in the barn the other day, though? With what? I think it was eyes. Mm -mm. Cavalier. Yeah, he bucked around a little bit. I'll tell him what happened. I saddled him and then he just went poof and went to bucking. Yep, so we know he has spirit in him. He's not had a broke spirit. He just. Sometimes he feels like it, and sometimes he don't. <laughs> so, alright, anything else going on? How's Star coming with her grand? Pretty good. Because she's actually riding out in the arena, isn't she? Yep. Next step is to take her out to gather cattle, huh? Yep. She ready for that? Probably not. I haven't got him rode much the last week or so. Yep. All right. Mending fences. Anything? That, um. Oh, yeah, the old shed. Did we cover that last week? I am so behind, and I really don't know where we're at on this. I'm gonna have to put my notebook back out here on the table so that we can I think you keep do. track. One of uh. The wind blew it down, but what happened? What did I do? Oh, you took it all apart. Mm -hmm. And what have I decided? You don't want it there. You're going to move it. I am. I'm going to move it over so that it creates more of a west sunbreak in the heat of the day, correct? Mm -hmm. Right now it doesn't because it's up the back side, it's up against the north wall or the south wall of the house, making it have a great shelter from the north but it the way the sun comes up 
it doesn't create any shade, does it? It just shades right onto the house. So we're going to move it away from the house. I'm going to put it in the fence line over um, between the barn and the house. And that'll also help build up that area so it won't flood so much. Right? Next. <laughs> Anything else? I decided I really don't like those unless they're toasted. <laughs> so I think you're not going to do that again. No, they're, well, maybe. Not <laughs> they're pasty. Um, all right, anything else in mending fences? <laughs> Would you like me to hack it back up and put it back on your Pop-Tart and fix it? Pop-Tart. Anyway, um, what's the next segment? We're supposed to know this. I'm tired. He's tired. Uh, in the yard farm. So I have a list of things that we're going to start the first Saturday in May. I'll do a 15 minute. Uh, the first one's going to be milking, goat milking. I'll milk. We open at 10 o'clock, so from 10 to 10 15. I will milk, correct? You're doing that in May? I thought you were going to know one of the first weekend in May. Oh, gosh. I thought we were. Okay, we might have to rethink this. Okay, so. Can't be two places at once. No, I can't. So, I guess you'll be man on the farm, and you'll do the mini seminar that starts May 1st. Okay, so, technically, this is Tuesday, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. And we're late podcasting because you were gone all weekend, and I had other things going on. So, tomorrow? Is tomorrow? When is the first? And I'm, I don't even have my phone on me to tell. Um, yep, today's the 30th, so that would be tomorrow. Is May 1st. Um, yep. So, the 4th, um, I'm going to know what. To, I've got to call them tomorrow and verify everything for Pioneer Days. Um, you have a rodeo in town that day for Pioneer Days, don't you? Mm -hmm. I'll be going on the 2nd, 3rd, and the 4th. Yeah, but not to know what, and not the same one. <laughs> okay. I'll be in know what on the 3rd. I'll be in know what on the 4th. So, we will be having that going on. I am going to take my big walking wheel. They're supposed to provide me with a, <coughs> a table. I'm going to put a small booth together. It's just for demonstration purposes, so... Um, I will have all three of my wheels out there, and we're hoping to educate some people. Who knows? Um, but anyway, uh, I'm going to be doing that, so I guess we will move the milking one. We'll start May 11th with the little seminars, right? Yep. Okay, so, and the first one is going to be milking. Um... RJ is going to go and help me set up my walking wheel because I'm going to have to take, what, the one horse trailer to get everything in there. Mm -hmm. So, um, because the walking wheel won't fit in my truck because I don't have the camper shell anymore. Which, everybody laughed about that. They're not laughing now. Anytime i got to transport something, it takes two of us now. So, not a good thing. Alright, anything else in the yard farm? Shearing's coming along. Got our seminars. Um, I'm going to sit down. I have like five things in my head. I'm going to sit down and actually make a schedule and get it on the web page so that people can see. Oh, oh, oh your um, interview. We talked about that, right? And it's supposed to come out in June in the Tulsa People magazine. And I will be going to Tulsa as soon as I hear from Leslie that it's out. I will get a couple of copies. So, um, Oh, shit! <gasps> It's a little spider, Mom. It's not a little one. It is too. It's like this big. Oh, the size of a quarter. <laughs> no. Get, it's the size of a get rid small of that. little quarter. <laughs> okay, kids. That was a really bad word, but that was a big spider, and I. <laughs> it's a little bit. It scared me, and I don't want it. 
It's like that big. It's a little bitty spider. No, it was not. It was a big old spider. Okay. <gasps> um. <laughs> well, folks, you want to know how to kill your mom <laughs> with a heart attack? Just let a spider fall from the sky. Oh my gosh. Okay. I don't even know where he came from. I just. I don't either because he was not there. <laughs> I'm just like. Just ah. Okay. It's <coughs> raining, so things are going to come in. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. <laughs> Quit shaking the camera. Okay. Where, what was I even talking about? I'm sorry. Um, okay. May 11th. Oh, no, wait. Uh, you were going to do go to Tulsa to get magazines. Okay, so anyway, yeah. Extra, extra, read all about it. <sighs> okay, so I'm sweating now. <laughs> uh, well, and I will tell you that part of that scared me. I'm not normally that bad with spiders. That was mm. just a big, ugly, black, fuzzy thing. It's not um, that big. Yes, it is. It's big. Look at it. It's right I there saw... squashed on the table. I'm not, I'm not touching it. Anyway, I saw my first big lizard. Did I tell you? Yes, you told me about it. Okay. But you haven't told them about it. Yeah, if I had my phone, I would whip out that picture. Get that, get my phone. Don't even know sit on camera. Okay, so this thing. And besides, it's not going to be like this long. It's going to be like this long on your phone. Because your phone's like this big. Uh, okay, just to give you an idea, with his tail included, he's probably as long as my arm. And it was the biggest one my boss had ever seen. And she's lived here all her life. She's like 76. And she's lived here forever. And she's like, that is the biggest lizard I've ever seen. And it was about this fat. I mean, it was huge. It was awesome. It had some reds and some browns and some coppers. Legs. It did. It was amazing. I wanted to try and catch it, but I was at work. So I really couldn't play with it. But I wanted to see if its tail would come off. They say that... I've never done it, so I don't know, okay, if it's true, it's true, if it's not, it's not, I don't know, but when I was a kid, I lived in Europe, so we didn't have lizards, um, but they say if the tails come off that they can regrow them, so I wanted to try and grab it by the tail, but it kept darting in this building, and then I'd go in the building, and it'd dart back out the building, it's garden sh shed, and it'd dart back in, and dart, and so we were playing this game, and it took me just forever to get the pictures, and finally, I showed my boss the picture. She's like, that's what took you so long. I was like, yeah. <laughs> so I didn't get to catch it, but it was really super cool. Biggest lizard I have, have ever seen and the biggest one she's ever seen. So I was ecstatic. So next, um, in the field, I still didn't get the seeds planted. Oh, my asparagus came back. I found all my asparagus, so I'm happy, except for the fact that Leighton keeps going in there and eating the top off of it. I'm hoping it's not going to kill it. So I may have Did to leave it. Did you kill it last year? Yeah, but I have to leave it like three years before it produces. Oh. Mm -hmm. I so, thought asparagus was like a vegetable, like you grew it in the garden. It is, but it's a perennial and it just comes back. But you have to leave it before you start harvesting it. You have to grow it a few years before it produces. And when I was down in the orchard, I mowed down there and... It doesn't look like it. And there was a ton of peaches on my peach tree this year. I am so hoping to get enough to put some up, make some peach cobbler. Isn't um, that just peachy? <laughs> Are you mad at me over the Pop-Tart? Yes, I am. Drink your drink. It's empty. Anyway, suck on your ice. Uh, so I'm super excited about that. The grow tower is set up, but we don't have anything planted in it. I've got to get out there with seeds. Ashley was supposed to come and help me. We've been trying for two weekends to get her out here. But as you know, the first weekend, Bella had the baby. And this last weekend, we didn't get anything done because we just nothing seemed to come together right so it is what it is right all right <laughs> in the farmhouse what did you have going on this weekend uh, tell us all about it i went to a couple rodeos and a couple how'd you do 
uh, one second at one, third at one, and when we're open. Those weren't the only ones you went to. Did you get your belt buckle and show them? No, Did I you? stuck it in my case already. I cleaned it off today and then buried it back. Why? It was so cute. It was the prettiest buckle he's ever won, and it had either three fake emeralds or three real emeralds in it. Right? Yeah. It was cool. So it was cool. It was definitely cool. Um, but <coughs> your weekend didn't start out as good, did it? What do you mean? The first two you went to... I went to Pajasco on Friday. I went second there. Mm -hmm. I went to I another you... one. Saturday. And Saturday. you said you didn't do any good. Right, I didn't do any good there. And then I went... That night, you didn't do any good. You were like one out of it or something. Weren't you? Uh, no, I placed it that one. I thought there was two you didn't place that. Because when you came home, you said you didn't know if you were going the next day. Because you didn't know if you had enough money. But the last one I went to, I went second. The team opened, and then the kept open. And they gave me enough money to go back. Okay. Maybe that's what it was. Yep. So, all right. And then you won Sunday. Sunday. Yep. Yep. Which is, when you say you won it, you had to have the average. And did you win a couple of go rounds or whatever, or what? Uh, I went the average, and that's what got me a buckle, and I placed in both rounds. And it's pouring down rain again. Yep, sounds like this. Wait. And then I started my new um, workout, right? And then today I didn't get to go do it. I did it yesterday. I did the workout, and the workout kicked yeah, my you butt. My eyebrows. <laughs> Why? Is this a workout? His eyebrows are working out. I don't know, but it makes my vision really blurry. <laughs> Anyway, so, um, I still, my daughter and I are doing it together. I've got her DVDs. I don't think she's going to do it. And. <laughs> Just. Well, we're accountable to each other. We're trying to get Tabby to do it too, but anyway. So. Um. The burnout, I did just fine with the workout, and there's a 15 minute workout, and then a five minute burnout afterwards. That five minute burnout left me laying in the floor for like 10 minutes. I was like, just step over me. And I just laid there on my yoga mat, just laid there. And he was like, make sure you get a cool down in. I'm like, I'm cooling down, just laying right here. <laughs> but I did go to the gym, right? The day before. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. So, um, and today I wore my ankle weights at work. So I wore them for about three hours. So, um, and I, there, it's two and a half pounds per leg. So it's five pounds of lifting every time I step. So I hope that helps because with the rain, I just couldn't. And then yesterday I went for a walk too, correct? Mm -hmm. Which I was just going to go for a leisure walk, but then the neighbor's cow was out and I had to chase that sucker halfway down the road, turn around and get him in. So it ended up being two miles again. That's okay. I do two miles. It's not even a big thing is it hmm. so all right anything else <sighs> no. we are actually going to set this to compress and then I'm going to upload it tomorrow morning because we're tired so it'll be Wednesday for you guys to see this folks yep just yep, so yep. you know so we know when you'll see this we know when you're when you'll see it but unfortunately we just I am going to try and start recording by myself and keep a notepad to actually let y'all know what's going on. Little things, jot down things during the week, right? Oh, really? Cool. Mm -hmm. Means I don't have to come on the podcast anymore? Yay. You don't have to what? I don't have to be on the podcast no more. Wrong. Yay. Wrong. If you're recording by yourself during the week, what do you need me for? I said on the weekends that you're not home. Oh. I thought you said you're Instead recording. of it being All I heard late. was is, you don't have to record with me. No, Yay. instead of it being late, I'm going to try and record on the weekends by myself. Well, all I heard was Or we can get up me. really early no. and make no. RJ record with us at 5 in the morning. No. 
I know. You'll do it when you come in at 2 in the morning. You have better odds of that happening than getting me up early. <laughs> All right. So, we're off of here, right? Mm -hmm. Yes or no? All right. Bye. See you. Peace out, Girl Scout. Exit stage left. Bye. <laughs> Exit stage left. You goof.